blue male. that enclosure. Some puppies uh, just sit down and won't move and I have difficulty getting them to interact. Uh, he was really quick to come out and he did come to my side. Um, didn't really say a proper hello and then went off. So a minute ago he just stretched to that table leg. So that's him being careful. He didn't know what it was. So they would stretch forward. <coughs> Whoa, that comes later in the test. Hey, that comes later. Can I say hi? So you can see that he has a lovely body height, but his tail is down, like right now, and that was the noise, <laughs> which comes later in the test, right? So I'm going to just let him know that I'm approachable and a good thing in the room. How are you? Sweet thing? Hmm? You see those eyes? Oh, what a pretty boy. Okay, that's it. That's it. So in the release uh, portion, did really well, really quick to move forward and he was um, you know, showing a, a, a good level of confidence. This is the first time he's been taken away from his litter mates and carried across a busy parking lot, dropped in here. He's never been in this room and he's never met me before. So, lots of stress for a little guy and um, a little bit of an indication of how he might be when you take him home. So hopefully we can, you know, give you some hints as to how to work with his, little, his base personality. So the interaction is he's sort of sticking by me. <coughs> Oops, so daisy. So a super uh, social dog would just stay with me and really not have any interest in the surroundings. Whoa, the ball, the ball. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get rid of that ball. Yeah, yeah, shall we? Let's just get rid of this ball for the moment. <laughs> I'm going to sit back down again um, just to see where I'm going to peg him as social. So. If he, uh, you know, if he comes and visits with me and then leaves and then plays and then comes back, then he's like a 50-50 mix, which I think he is because he's uh, getting happier with his tail. So far, no use of teeth. Correct? Correct? No use of teeth? Yeah. No. Good boy. So no use of teeth. He's really quite nice and happy. <coughs> so generally I'm going to stop talking to see if he stays with me or goes off. But you can see that he's going off to look around the room. Very nice uh, body language and tail. Uh, he's coming back to me quite a bit. so. He, you know, I will watch the video. He's leaning. Ow! Little use of teeth. So, puppies uh, do explore their world <laughs> with their teeth. Um, but there are exercises that you should do. Ow! We don't really do much with it. 
during the test because we want to just see his base behavior. <laughs> nope. Ah! So you are going to teach him to understand and make him understand that there's no teeth on skin. You can redirect his energy, you can squeal like I did, they generally respond to that quite nicely. But uh, much, the exercise is much better than just the punitive uh, action. He needs to understand it. Okay. Which is pretty common with most puppies, like they just that's their, that's how they play roughhouse with each other. So they just need to be taught. Yes? So this little fellow, I believe to be in a really nice 50-50 mix of social and environmental. Um, he's got confidence and curiosity enough to go away, but he comes back to me. <laughs> I love his uh, tail and his body and he's off. There was a, yay! Yay! <laughs> what a sweetie, yay! So you can see, he's got a lovely 50-50 uh, mix of coming back to me. So that this little uh, checking, that bot, that yawn, is a little indication of him feeling stress, but he's quite able to uh, work with it and handle it himself. Um, that is indicated by his actions and his tail set. Now you can see this, uh, you know, this I want to see, is he following me around? Does he, you know, nip at my feet? Does he care where I am? And this little fellow really cares where I am. So we just met, and uh, so that's another social indicator. So. I will watch the video again to see if he was spent more time with me than looking around. <laughs> so lots and lots of praise when he comes to you. Um, this is a really good way to start your come exercise. You can introduce things to him, what's that? I mean, you really don't want him stuck to you like glue. You want him to be able to go and play with other dogs and kids. And, but you want him to look for you when you're out. <laughs> so if you take him to a big park, um, it's not you that should be just looking for him. He should also be looking for you. So get that bond and that understanding by doing this kind of exercise. You can do, oh dear, what is that? So you can make this room bigger and different toys. And then maybe outside in the backyard where there's distractions. And uh, you can introduce treats, like if he doesn't come to you. But I uh, don't think you'll have a problem. No. Lots of praise when he comes to you. And use it as the start of your come exercise. Yes. So very, very good. A lot of people take their puppies to a really busy park and then get kind of upset that the puppy's not paying any attention to them. But you have to build that bond and that understanding before you go to a really overwhelming place. Now, this is just a test of his patience and tolerance. Now, he's wiggling. He would like to get down. He's actually doing a pretty good job because he's not really fighting. Um, but he has, you know, uh, that can be built on just by holding him up regularly and then putting him down before he wiggles and then just build the time that you hold him up. Uh, they have to have uh, patience. Uh, they can't be with you 24-7. And they have vets and grooming and, you know, very good. So I was waiting to see if he would approach me because some puppies, after I hold them up, if they really didn't like it, they would hold a grudge. But this guy is uh, not holding a grudge. <laughs> so.
So very good job, but you could probably build on it a little bit. Um, your ideal, ideal is for them to be like totally bodyless. What's this? What's this? So very good. A lot of puppies don't like the sound of the paper because they've never experienced it. Oh. Whoa, whoa. On film. job well done so we really uh, want to make sure that he can concentrate though because if he really really loved the treat and went crazy for it um, you're kind of not setting him up for success in that all he can think about is that treat so if you can imagine how hard it would be for him to sit quiet or uh, lay down if all he thinks about is this treat so we're going to just test how was that? How was that? Was it good? So he seemed to like my treat, so what we're going to try to do is see if he can... Oh, look. Can you see that? Look. Great nose on this little fella. He's got... Look. Very, very, very good. So you could see how uh, methodical, uh, that's you know considered very smart. Um, he just uh, moved the cup, moved the cup, and worked at getting the treat. And he's not running around like crazy. So I would think you're fairly safe, and he, he's quite enjoying it. So should you find he gets overwhelmed, just uh, you know decrease the value, maybe go back to his kibble as a reward for training, but he looks like he should be fine. Yes? You sure do. Okay. What do you think? Is this the bad part of the test? Hey? Yeah? Let's see if we can get you over here playing. Hey? hard when I'm by myself because they want to interact and do stuff with you. <laughs> so 
So that was a really, really good job. In that, in that sound was behind him and unexpected. Um, he did startle, but we don't really care that they startle. They should. <laughs> and uh, he kind of came not not too quickly. He just sort of walked over and then went off to play. So that is a very good response. Uh, some puppies run in the corner, lay down. I can't get to, get them to play again. Or they come and sit at your feet and cry a lot. So super, super job on, on that sound. So he's showing us a really nice level of confidence like throughout the test. Aren't you? What is this? body height. He's being a little bit careful with it. Oh, very good. So he's a little bit unsure of the motion, but he's uh, still got lovely confidence in that he keeps coming back. Yay! Yay! And going behind me is also like a little bit like you do it, I'll do it. Help me out a little. I wouldn't call it a shy away, really. So, uh, I, you know, we just sort of recommend that you introduce lots of different stimuli, like different noises, different sights, colors, <coughs> noises and the like. Yes? It's a lovely way to go through life being confident as opposed to being nervous. So, uh, you know, just keep introducing stuff to him in a nice way and you know keep that confidence that he has and, uh, and build on it so he can see this <laughs> this is a base prey drive his nose actually is taking over his desire to chase enticing him a lot like a, a, you know a puppy with a high prey drive would be right on that um, he, he did see it he was sort of interested but not really so which is really good uh, it's, uh, it's you know kind of easier to work when they don't have a, a super prey drive because there are real squirrel like squirrels and kids on bikes and stuff that you need to uh, be careful for. So <clears throat> please do your exercises though, like the watch me drop it, leave it, all of those exercises. Are you gonna come up here? <laughs> so uh, you want to be able to redirect his attention back on you when needed. So you know those those even though he has a fairly low prey drive, those exercises are still important. <laughs> Very good. So overall, lovely level of confidence, lovely body language, uh, very interactive, very happy guy, and a uh, good looker. So I hope you have fun. Ow. <laughs>